Hello everyone, welcome again and today we are going to continue the uh, puppet Gear tutorial series and this is the fifth video and we will see some example to handle the input fields and button. So to perform the automation we are using this example, test give example. So this is the git library, you can easily get over the code one uh, from the description link so you can uh, use it for the practice purpose. So here we are going to navigate uh, on this browser in this URL and we are going to enter some text, text, text here and click on the populate button. So this will be our test script and uh, so now switch to the Visual Studio code and start the coding. So okay, so this is my previous example so I am going to make changes here only and in the last example we have seen like how to run the incognito mode so it's already said as incognito and i'm going to change it as a normal browser so let's go to the on this let's check out this okay now it's fine so we need to reset a browser and then we need to set a page I open the new page and navigate to this url but we need to navigate on this URL, so I'm going to change the URL for this script. And now, the next thing that I need to perform, I need to click, uh, I need to enter some value in input field. So, await page dot type, and we have to pass two parameters here. But the first one will be your selector, and second is your message. So, for example, I want to message that this is for testing. So, I'm going to enter this message and in this input field. So, I need a selector for it. So, let's select it, inspect it. <coughs> and okay, we have ID, so we can use ID as a selector. And we're going to use as a hashtag and form ID. And the next ID we need, this next selector we need for this button. So this button has to have the ID is populate. So await page dot click. This time we are going to perform the click operation. Click and the selector we are going to pass. Okay, that's it. This is this is done. Okay. Let's run the command uh, script npm run test. So it's going to run the file, open the browser, navigate to that uh, URL, and uh, something is missing. I think we got error. Okay, so this is not found. So let's uh, put some weight for the weight. Oh, selector we'll see in detail now how, how can we operate uh, how can we perform weight different different types of weight in a puppet here but for now I'm gonna put a weight so it will work page dot uh, we need a weight for selector here so we can wait for selector and I'm gonna pass a selector in this so should be this Send it <coughs> so it's going to copy the whole line but I need only this text okay so now it should be work fine <coughs> let's terminate it yes and run the same command again now this time it will wait for the selector and then enter the value and click on that here. So now you can see it entered the value here. This is for testing and it's too fast. So now we can see one more uh, interesting thing here like which is the slow-mo. So now if you notice it's entered all the string and now uh, enter the string will fast but if you want to see our uh, if you want to change the speed you can use the slow mo option so while we are using uh, browser we are launching browser we need to set another parameter here uh, so, it's false. so headless is false and 
also we can add one more thing let me show you we're gonna use a slow mo so slow mo for example I enter a thing so it's going to be like if I enter one second so it will be easy to understand you yeah. <coughs> so it will take uh, wait for one second with every character it's going to be entered here. just navigate to the URL and enter the first character here and then we'll wait for second then second character then third character so this is the slow mo so we can uh, minimize the time also so it will work a little bit fast it's true flow and so let's close it and minimize some time so for example i'm going to use this for the second for 10 millisecond and this time it will be a little fast So it's really fast, the execution is really fast and you can see it, now it's show you and you can see it's click on the button also, that's why you, are, uh, you, can, you are able to see this pop up. So thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next tutorial on next uh, tutorial or next example on the puppet here.